Hi guys, uh, we're going to be talking about the projection of the B4 root system onto the three-dimensional space. Now, before getting to the actual image, I'm going to quickly go over the method of projection that I used to get the result, which is known as the stereographic projection. I will be talking about it in two different cases, one from 2D to 1D and the other from 3D to 2D. Now, in 2D, let's consider a unit circle about the origin and align below that circle. To project the point on a circle to the plane, we start from the topmost part of the circle and to the point that we want to project, we draw a line connecting both those points. Then we extend that line until it reaches down to the plane and intersects it. That intersection of the plane and the line is going to be the point of projection. Now, if we apply that to the multiple points, we can see that we can project line segments from the circle onto the line below. If this drawing was to scale, you would notice that the projected line below is longer than the line segment on the circle. Now, there's something that we have to avoid when projecting in cases like these we have to avoid points close to this, uh, the starting of the projection. So any point closer to the top of the sphere, when projected, it would go off into a tangent and sometimes be parallel to the plane, never reaching the plane and therefore never actually intersecting it, therefore never making a projection. These are the things we have to try to avoid. So any plane or point close to the top is not desirable because it will distort the projection. Now let's go on to a 3D projection onto a 2D plane. In three dimensions, let's consider a unit sphere and a plane right below it. Just like in the 2D example, we're going to pick the topmost point of the sphere and use that as the starting of our projection. Again, we could apply this to multiple line segments that's on the sphere and project it onto the 2D plane. You will notice just like in the last, exa last example that the image that is projected onto the plane is more distorted than the image on the sphere. Similar to the problem last time, we are going to try to also avoid points that are close to the top of the sphere. This is because when projecting points close to the top of the sphere, it may go off into a tangent, maybe never ever touching the plane, maybe never ever producing a projection. If it does produce a projection, it might be very very long and distorted, and that's something that is not desirable.
Now, in terms of my root system, what I actually am projecting is the hyperplanes that are perpendicular or orthogonal to the roots of the root system. So let's say we have a random root system. This is not actually the B4 root system or B3. It's just a random example of a root system to make it easier to grasp of what I did. And let's enclose it into a sphere. So if I were to take the planes that are perpendicular or orthogonal to the roots or a pair of roots, as you can see on the drawing, and make curves such that it touches the sphere that it's enclosed in, we're going to use that as a as our trace and project it onto a plane below. And similar to the three dimensional example, we're going to be projecting a 3D root system onto a 2D plane. So with those hyperplanes, I will select a point on the topmost part of the sphere and with one example of a hyperplane, I will basically project it and trace out an image of a closed curve onto the plane below. These are not actual results, but it, when actually doing this, it may be similar to what you're actually getting. Now that was an example of projecting a three-dimensional hyperplane or three-dimensional plane onto a two-dimensional plane, right? So let's extrapolate that idea to four dimensions. Now we've dealt with 2D on and 3D, and now we're just gonna apply the same type of thinking onto 4D. 2D has two coordinates, 3D has three coordinates, and 4D has four coordinates. Basically, we're just adding another coordinate to our equations, set of equations. And as if you've noticed the trend, from 2D to 1D, we went from a circle to a line, and then from 3D to 2D, we went from a sphere to a plane. So we can safely assume when projecting from 4D to 3D, the result will be somewhat of a sphere or a spherical object. Going beyond that, we I have no idea or clue of what it would look like. So when I was actually projecting my B4 root system, it looked something similar to this. The actual image is on the wiki page, but I will do my best to try to recreate the drawing.
and there you have it that is the projection of a four-dimensional root system before onto a 3d space 